forgot this about this portion of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I gotta yeah. get. Let me control. get. Let me focus. Yeah. All right, here we go. Number nine, it's National Hot Dog Month, but they're also the it food right now. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, Americans purchase more than 900 million pounds of them each year at grocery stores alone. But in high-end restaurants, if people are paying like 30 bucks for open hot versions, topped with everything from caviar to mac and cheese, fruit loops, or pork belly and papaya salad. Huh. And those are just the toppings. The hot dogs are still the star of the show. So there you are. Yeah. They're having a moment. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. I like I like the hot dog just to just be the plain. Chicago style. Kind of simple. A little ketchup. Yeah, yeah, mac and cheese and stuff. Yeah, like what? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. People are Put nuts. it on the side. Right. Number eight, uh, when Rick Astley played the Glastonbury Festival in England last week, he did his hits like Together Forever and Never Gonna Give You Up. This one surprised some people. He got on the drum kit and the band did ACDC's Highway to Hell. In all seriousness, do either of you know the song? Uh, Highway to Hell. Yeah. yeah. You do? Sure. You do? I just heard I'm the lyrics, yeah. I'm not convinced by either of these responses. <laughs> yeah. Are you a big music person? Not really. Yeah, me either. I could care less. Mm -hmm. Lourdes took piano lessons for a little bit, though. I can play with one hand. With one hand, okay. yeah. It's, so it's we'll pretty amazing. The other hand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ashley also sang with a band called Blossoms. The whole set was songs by the Smiths, in okay. case you're keeping track. All right, number seven. You ready for this? It's one thing to clean your house, vacuuming, dusting, mopping the floor. It's a whole other level to deep clean, though. According to experts, deep clean cleaning includes those hard to get places like dusting the baseboards, cleaning behind the refrigerator and the tops of your ceiling fans. It's a commitment and it's time consuming as well. They suggest that you have to deep clean your house at least four times a year. They suggest that maybe you do it at the yeah. beginning of each season. Okay. Try to do that a couple times. Excuse me, a couple times a year. You that do it? Sense. No. <laughs> no, I take care of the yard though. Yeah. yeah, I take care of the yard. Big job, all about isn't my it? Yeah. the outside. Yeah. Let her mm -hmm. manage the inside. Yeah, I think it's it's fair. It's a lot of work, especially in the summer. I'm shoveling. I'm doing yeah. grass. Yeah, doing sure. landscaping, watering yeah, plants. Yeah. Everyone's got to pitch in. Right. <laughs> yeah. You yes. don't need any freeloaders. Yeah. Is, no. you know, that's a bad situation. Mm -hmm. All right, number six. Here's another corn cob stripper for you. Uh, this one is from a company called Chefin. It's about eight bucks, and it really works. Watch this. All right. Look at that. That looks really look difficult, that. though. It does look like it requires a lot of strength. See, they oh, always make it look good in the commercial. Yeah, no, like, yeah. it's easy, it's simple. <laughs> but you get it at you home, it and hot it's like, and it's no. slippery. Mm -hmm. It's a lot different game. Right. All right. Well, it's good to know that's out there. Okay. Uh, number five, wide and roomy. That's the look that you uh, want to be rocking this summer. Uh, if you're on board with the latest men's shorts trend, we're talking high-waisted, wide-legged shorts. Yeah. Uh, this season's all about turning up the volume. Don't be afraid to try it. But here's one rule you need to follow. Keep the volume below and a more fitted t-shirt or button-down on top. Right. You don't want all that bulk. Also, a baggy shirt um, just kind of looks sloppy. Okay, so keep the shirt, keep it tight on top, and then you can go loose and let it fan out a little bit yeah. on the bottom. Would yeah. you wear that, Dan? Those real baggy shorts? Yeah. No. It's oh, very no. 1980s. It's yeah. got a little 1980s. No, I like feel. I like things a little mm. more fitted. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you could if could if I wanted if to. If you were called upon. <laughs> yeah, show off my yeah. calves. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Uh, number four here. Remember the kid who played uh, the young Forrest Gump? Do you? Yeah. No. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. Hmm. Yeah, the kid is named Michael Connor Humphreys. He's now 38 years old. 38. 
Yeah, it was 1994 when he played the young version of Tom Hanks' character in Forrest Gump. He was just an eight-year-old at the time from Mississippi when his parents took him to an open casting call. His southern accent probably helped him actually get that part. After Tom Hanks won an Oscar for the role, he had an honorary Oscar made just for Humphreys, uh, but the kid chose not to continue acting after that. He said his parents gave him a choice, and he basically preferred to just play with his friends. Sure. Yeah, of course, everybody would choose that. And just like Forrest, Humphreys joined the Army after high school, served in Iraq for 18 oh, months. Yeah. Oh, cool. I was waiting yeah. for a picture. I was ready, too. I Look was thinking, boy, I hope we get some. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. Handsome guy. He then, he finished college after that. Now he works oh. a normal job. And yes, he and young Jenny do see each other every now and then uh, at a promotional event. Oh, that's right. There was so a young Jenny, remain too. friends, yeah. Okay, good. Good mm. to know. Uh, number three, some people collect baseball cards. Others, like Paul, have a passion for oh, uh, precious it. moments, figurines. Yeah. You should know Hummels, this, Lucian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you heard about the big machine lovers? These are people who collect John Deere lawnmowers. Oh, wow. They gather at these huge conventions across the country, like uh, Classic Green Reunion. That's one of them. Sure. Uh, some of these people own hundreds of tractors, riding mowers, snowmobiles, wow. uh, all made by their beloved company, John Deere. Other collectors don't care much about the makers, they do about the, uh, the machine. Uh, they collect older models, display them in garages, the same huh. way show off, uh, people show off their car collections. Yeah. They're these, these big tractor shows. People into everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Not just the precious moment figure. Yeah, you, mowers, like, you love your collections. You name it. I, I save pins. pins. I love pins. Yeah. You do? Brooches. Oh, yes. oh really? You got a nice collection? Wait, you do? Got to be into collection? something. Yes, I do. Huh. I thought I knew every single thing about you. We've been uh, friends for... Thing? My a long time. 20 years. Jewelry or like pins. I was in Ohio with a big O. Pin. I'll bring one in tomorrow. Oh, right, I wear yeah. them every now and then. All but right. yeah, it's brooches. They're... Brooches. Mm -hmm. huh? That's nice. Good. Didn't know that. That's cool. That's unique. I always surprise you. That's what you I'm know. all about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been up for 20 years. <laughs> that one's shocking. Yeah. Does <laughs> yeah. it? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hold on. You gotta yeah, keep we got one more. Story. Number, I no, got we got two more. The brooch yeah. conversation. All right, number two, this frog clutch from J.W. Anderson is everything right now. It's giving me nature vibes. It's giving me big pond realness. It's full of the thing that we love the most on this show, and that's whimsy. And here's the best part. It's only about $990. Look at that's a steal. Yeah, you can't put a price on fashion, especially when this little bag might be the highlight of your summer. You open this mouth uh, up and you can fill it up with a compact, a mirror, some lipstick, a credit card. It's surprisingly spacious, so there's even room for a little bit of a snack in there, some Doritos. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're on the red carpet, you need some Cheez-Its or something sure. like that, you can slip that right in there. But look how fun that is right there. Yeah. Mm. Like That's a purse? great. Yeah, and then you put it on the shelf when you're done using it instead of throwing it in the yeah, closet. It's not just a collection. You put it out in the garden to, okay. yeah. like, right. a, next to your gnomes and things like that. Yeah. Yes. Really so sold that one. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of goodness there. All right, at number one here, uh, a good movie to watch this week. This blockbuster from the summer of 1996 originally had a different title, but a moving speech changed that. Take a listen. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night, we will not vanish without a fight, we're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Yeah, 20th, 20th Century Fox wanted to call the movie Doomsday, but star Bill Pullman and the director really wanted to call it Independence Day. So they worked hard on the speech. They knew it had to have a big moment. And after they shot it, they showed a VHS rough copy of, of the speech and yeah. of the movie to the studio, and they agreed that they named it then at that point uh, so Independence much better. Day. Doomsday, yeah. it's mm -hmm. a terrible title. Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad, but Independence Day is better. Yeah. All right, that's the 9 and 9. How'd I do? Did I work out? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, good job, Morgan. Very nervous. Best anyone's yeah. ever done it. Yeah.